really bright. You can see how bright that is already. Screen. I can actually adjust it up to that. Here I have a PA system. So if I need to yell at people outside, watch this. Hello, uh, life of the box here. Uh, it's been a while since I did my last video, but um, I've done a lot of new mods on the car and uh, I figured I should update the the old video with this one um, since there were a lot of comments etc from the old one and uh, I just figured I should do a new one so here it is um, I'll just start from the beginning uh, this is a 2003 Honda Element uh, it's an automatic uh, four-wheel drive um, and yeah, it's been serving me well. So I guess before we go to the details, I will kind of do a 360 around just to give you, an, you guys an idea of what it looks like before I go talk about every little thing. So that was the front. Here is the side. And then the back. And yeah, right there. Can't really get back there, but okay. So yeah, this car used to be my daily driver. And then slowly um, it turned kind of into my project car ever since I got another car. Um, and I kind of rarely drive this, but it's nice to just kind of play have something to play with and and this is it um, So let's go to the front And as you can see, um, I guess I can start from the top well, up top. I have a Thule um, fairing and that's attached to Thule um, roof rack which are the square bars and then everyone asked but that basket right there is a Yakima um, basket. Yakima? Yakima? I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's a that's the basket that's right there and everyone always asks so that's it, okay? Um, I got it a while ago so I'm not really sure where if you can still buy that. It's a really old part but yeah it fits perfectly if I go up the top here. Yeah and that's how it looks like. Um, yeah, and right now it's winter time here in Canada, so I have this these tracks here uh, in case I get stuck in the snow, and it's kind of cosmetic as well. Um, uh, since I'm on the roof, I will talk about these. I have side lights on both sides, and actually, let me turn them on. Uh, side lights. There we go. Pretty bright. 18 watts each see uh, six LEDs so this is nice when um, I guess I just need some side lighting and then here up top in the front I have these spotlights they are 10 watts each and I have them on both sides they're pretty bright during the night it's enough so I got the side I got the front and I got the side so that's kind of cool okay and then on the top I have also uh, vinyl wrapped just the, the top part right here and uh, I mean it's not a it's not a great job but it's, it does the job for now and then right under it I have um, well my Instagram if you don't follow me, follow me now. Life with the box. And then let's see, what else do I have here? Um, yes, I have. This is a new addition, a uh, single row. Uh, I forgot how many watts this is. How, um, but yeah, it's a single row light bar, and it's pretty cool. It's uh, it it's really bright, and I kind of I really like the look. Uh, the only drawback is that sometimes um, it does create some wind resistance so you do hear a little bit of wind noise um, when you're driving on the highway I'm trying I'm gonna plan on fixing that with 
installing maybe a bit of a lip here a little bit more of a fairing just to like direct deflect the air a little bit higher but i mean it's nothing too real that's really bothering so i'm just gonna leave it as it is for now um then got some stickers here let's see yeah okay now we move to the front we have the um oh my lens is dirty that's weird okay well it's fogging up inside it's going away okay well okay so up here the headlights they are the um uh projector retrofit kit um it's not a it's it, i got it on ebay just the bulb and uh the hids and then i basically use my old housing and convert it like this stick in the oven uh it's a lot of work but it's totally worth it um every yeah it's just it's it's good having it on both sides And then inside here, I have the dual hella horns. These are the sharp tones. Um, everything here is plastic dip black. Then I got the two um, fog lights, which are from Oxbeam, and I put a yellow fill, a uh, yellow film over it, just so I get the yellow fog uh, fog lights. I don't know, because otherwise, without the film, it would be uh, six thousand K very white and then in the front I have a massive um, light bar again this is really bright so the light bar lower light bar with is connected with the uh, single row uh, this light bar to my high beams so anytime I activate my high beams both will just flash and it's ridiculously bright and I like that I mean I, it's just nice to have the option right um, and so yeah, uh, the bottom part here is plastic, uh, plastic dipped as well, and then uh, license plate. So yeah, that basically covers the uh, front end of the car. You know what? I'm gonna take this off. Okay, is that better? Yeah. So that covers the front end of the car. I like it. it looks good. I know it's a little dark right now, but. Okay, now if we make our way to the side, <coughs> um, I have, uh, okay, we go to the wheels. I have 17 inch rims. Um, these are the TE uh, rims. And in the front, I have, I also have massive, uh, I think 30 millimeter spacers. And then I have drilled rotors, and these tires are the Kumho uh, Cruisin, Krugen. They're all season tires, and they are 235, 70, 17 inch. And with the spacers, you can see that it pushes out the tires like that, and I, I like that look. So yeah, those are the wheels. Um, tinted that added a another side blinker here um, mirrors I have a mirror cover helps a lot when there's snow and rain keeps the side mirrors clean blind spot and puddle lights at the bottom uh, I have rally armor flaps then I have the OEM Honda um, uh, side bar whatever you call this if you notice, this one actually comes out more. Um, I have friends whose bar just kind of, I'm not sure why, but it doesn't come out as much. And so it's harder to, for them to step on. But then I realized that mine actually comes out more distance, giving you more space to step on. So yeah, so that's, those are the side bars. Then um, let's see what else. Okay, I've got these window visor things. Uh, stickers, the back wheels, same, uh, no drilled rotors, uh, but yes. Then in the back I have rally armor, flaps again, completes the set, front. I push them out as much as I can, as you can see, I like that look. Then in the back, let's see, in the back, 
we have uh, the OEM element spoiler, which I really like. In the bottom you can see I have installed the puddle lights. And I have all these stickers. Um, element logos are all uh, plastic dipped in black. And then here I have a super, super bright uh, red LED fog light. It's really bright. And then the bottom I have just, uh, okay, so the toe here is just a little like, it's a little small um, fog light. I don't know, I just like it there. I like to turn it on sometimes when the weather's a bit kind of crappy and I don't know, I just get more visibility. It's not super bright, but it's noticeable. And yeah, I like that there. These two, um, this is a spot and a um, flood. These can be activated either manually or with, or when I hit the uh, gear shifter into reverse. And it brightens everything in the back. Um, and yeah, I have upgraded the license plate light. So that's pretty bright as well. If you can't, what you can't see is in here I have um, reverse camera. And that's inside the glass. A lot of people like to install things like outside. Uh, but I, what I realized is that uh, once it gets dirty, you can't really do anything about it. You have to come out and clean it with your hands. So what I did is install it inside here. So then when it's dirty, all I do is activate the wiper. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, that's a new exhaust pipe. It's fallen off like maybe twice already. That's a common issue with the element. Um, here I have uh, upgraded LED uh, turn signal bulb, upgraded uh, reverse, and this one is also, if you can see, it's upgraded uh, brake light. Super bright. Uh, what else is there? Oh, the third brake light. I have installed a module that makes it um, blink when every time I hit the brakes. It does like a super quick um, like flash in the beginning and then a medium speed and then just like a like a slow tap then it just come, becomes super like solid red. Just gets people's attention when I'm hitting the brakes. Uh, let's see what else is there. Um, yeah, uh, the wheels, they are painted. They used to be uh, bronze gold. Uh, yeah, so that kind of covers the whole car. Uh, turn on the lights for you guys, just to give you guys an idea. Okay, if I go in. So let me show you the puddle lights. I have a switch here, so I can just turn it on. It turns on right there. Show you from the back. That's pretty good, right? So at night, you know, when I'm walking up to the car, it's pretty dark. I've got things in my hand I can't see. I just turn this on, right? And I can, I can see. I can also make it blink, which is pretty cool. See that? That's kind of cool. And it's just flashing. So I have it on there. All sides, all sides of the car. I guess it's hard to see right now, but. You get my idea. Really like this mod. Okay, so interior-wise, uh, let's see. Got the sunroof because this is the all-wheel drive version. I've got curtains built in, all sides. Um, baby seat. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I've got a small little uh, cabin light, which is useful when you need more light in the back. Let me start up the car. There you go, you see the light right there. Uh, one thing I want to show you, new addition, is my rear view mirror. My rear view mirror is a camera. Look at that, full edge to edge screen. I can actually adjust it up and down. See that? This thing is amazing. Highly recommend. This is the um, Aux Autovox X2. You got an HD screen up whoever's behind you and then I can change it to the front view and it's basically recording front and back at the same time 
basically this view is like super wide so I can see people coming up my blind spot um, and it's just way safer than the original without you know just the regular mirror and it tells me like I can turn this to um, just like it's got GPS so it can tell me my speed it does like uh, lane departure warning so it'll beep every time you get a lane I turned that off because it got kind of annoying and you can turn it completely off and it still becomes a mirror but I like to leave it in um, yeah the camera mode um, don't mind the wires here because I just kind of I just got this for Christmas for myself and it's been too cold to actually you know really clean it up so I'll do that later uh, here I have uh, LEDs in the in the cubby holes all over. Um, I have heated seats, both sides. Uh, I have the screen. Uh, I can also have another camera, so I've got two cameras facing the back. Then I have this thing that tells me the time, the battery, uh, temperature, so, but it's kind of off. Um, but whatever, I just left it there. Uh, this is my phone mount. Here I have. A PA system, so if I need to yell at people outside, watch this. Testing, testing. <laughs> yeah, this thing is fun. I love this. Um, now we go to the gauges. Yeah, everything's red. Bluetooth for phone calls. Uh, yeah, so these are my switches. I know. Uh, I like the DIY look of this, um, but yeah, everything's here. Everything's uh, labeled. Got the puddle lights. These are if I want to do it manually, but yeah, puddle lights, side lights, roof lights, fog lights, uh, small rear fog light, rear lights, cabin light, everything's wired. Uh, okay, if I fire the, uh, let me fire. Okay, so these are the fog lights. Let's go out and check them out. <coughs> so now I have just the fog lights activated. They're really bright. Yep. Now we will do um, fog light and uh, projectors. These are the projector retrofits. And then see that. Oh yeah. That looks good. That's really bright as well. Super clean cut off line right there. That is nice. Then we can do um, roof lights. Okay, so roof lights. Now let me add the side lights as well. So I got the bright side lights along with the roof lights. So now you can see, you can see how bright that is already. These are just 10 watts. So that's how it looks with the roof lights, the HIDs and the fog lights. Yeah, that looks good. Now, we're gonna go for the super, um, so these are the super, uh, both uh, the dual uh, LED, I said, let me turn off the air. The LED light bars, watch this. Boom, boom. I'll leave it on right now. Let's go to the front. Give me an idea of how this looks. Bam! Look at that. Super bright. Okay, mind you, I, I never drive like this. <laughs> These are really just for fun. Uh, it'd be illegal to drive like that. It's way too bright. Okay, let me turn it off. I mean, it's nice to have the option. You know, if you're ever stuck somewhere in the middle of nowhere, it's nice to have all these lights. Um, okay, let me show you the back. So, okay, turn off the fog lights. I'm gonna turn on the small rear fog light. Watch this. So, yeah, that's the back um, with the small rear fog. Okay, so it's not super bright right now because I guess the car's off. But if I turn it on, I should turn it on. Yeah, you can see everything just brightens up. So you see the that's a small rear fog light. Then the uh, LED um, 
license plate light. And then the, uh... Okay, let me turn on this guy for you to show you. Rear fog, boom! You can already see reflecting off the, the wall. Look at that. Boom! That's really bright. Look how bright that is. I like that. So let's do that, and now let's turn on the, uh, let's manually turn on the rear fogs. Oh, sorry, not the switch. This one, oops. This one, and then we'll do the hazards. Oh, and the puddle lights. Yes, so all the lights, all the lights. Ready for this? Oh wait, they're not on yet. Manual override, okay, it's back on, okay. So these are all the lights in the back. Boom! Yeah. It'd be crazy to drive like this, but <laughs> it's possible. Um, so there you go. Uh, the puddle lights. Uh, the LED turn signals. The... LED rear lights, the super bright LED uh, fog light, the license plate light, the small LED fog light, and the two backfiring uh, LEDs for when I'm reversing or if I need to see what's behind me while I'm reverse while I'm backing up. You can already tell one is a uh, brighter than the other because one is a flood and one's a spot. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright. Okay. So, let me see. Is there anything else? I think that kind of covers the car, so yes. It's a little light I installed up there. Um, yeah, and that is cool. That is cool. Okay, it's been a long video. Uh, if you're still watching till now, I uh, guess you're really interested in this car. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Not sure when I will make my next video, but yeah, just leave me a comment, blah, 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 whatever. Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys.